Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions. I'm going to add some bubbles into a uh, cake smash and splash image using the um, the LSP organic bubble overlays and the new included action, the LSP bubbles. So I'm simply going to um, open my image up. As you can see, this has been edited in Lightroom, but I haven't uh, finished this yet. I'm just going to add some bubbles in here. So I'm going to play the action. It comes up with the instructions. You can choose uh, whichever bubble overlay you like. You can also kind of multi-stack them. Hit enter. Um, you may want to resize the overlay to suit your image and move it around. You can also do this later on in the action and I'll show you how. So as you can see, this has adapted the bubbles for your image. And the, the layer selected is the paint on bubbles. This is your bubble layer here. As you can see, I've got an original bubble here. My bubble machine wasn't working, <laughs> so I have one bubble to kind of go on here. And you can see these others fit in really well. So what I'm going to do is select a black brush, which is actually already selected for you when you come on here. And I'm going to remove any bubbles that I don't think add to the image or that perhaps the colour or the tone or the light don't quite go. So I'm going to take some of these bubbles out. I'm using a low flow brush um, so I can also kind of mute down some of the bubbles too. Okay, I'm generally happy with that. So you can see here these bubbles have been added in. You have lots of other options here to desaturate the bubbles, warm the edges, cool the edges, whiten the bubble edges, uh, make them more vibrant. You can make them look finer. So I may kind of use that on these ones here, kind of define them in. I may cool them down slightly. You can add some vibrance to them, which will kind of color them up a little bit. You can sharpen the bubbles up. I think I'm just going to take these ones out of here and maybe this one out here. I can darken the bubbles down so if there's any that look really too bright but you really want to keep them in rather than removing them, you can darken them down. So you can see how realistic these bubbles look on your image before and after. That teeny one there, so they're all different sizes. What about blurring the bubbles? If you want to blur the bubbles to depth of field, some of the bubbles will have a natural depth of field blur to them anyway. If not, you can click down here on the Smart Filters Gaussian Blur, select a white brush, and you can simply blur away any bubbles that you feel need to have a slightly different depth of field. Okay, I'm happy with that. Two minutes to add bubbles in. So if your bubble machine isn't working, if you do an edit and you think, ah, oh, this really needs some bubbles, Ah, uh, there you go, the LSP organic bubbles and the LSP bubble action in Photoshop.